Good morning, everybody. I'm Patty Ann. Today, I want to show you a really cool app that I found recently for those of us who like to doodle um, and kind of get used to doing free motion before we jump on our machines. Or you can actually import a photo of your block and kind of mark it up and doodle it up and see what you think um, your free motion will look like. So let's get started. As I said, this is the program um, called You Doodle. Just write that out. You doodle. So it is the word you and doodle. Okay. I'm going to go down here and get the eraser and just erase that now because I don't really want that on my screen. So when you come down here to the brush and you click on it, you can change the color of the brush. You can change the size. And I'm going to change mine down just a little bit smaller. I like it a little smaller for this. Um, this is the program that you can use on your iPhone, your iPad, probably on a computer with a touch screen. I don't have one, so I don't really know that. And I imagine that it's available for Androids as well. But let me get started. So I'm going to use the brush tool. Oop, and let's pretend like I'm going to practice my swirls. So I will just come in here and start doing it. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's this little round thing bubble like that's following my cursor and I don't really like that because it's kind of confusing to me so after I do this I am going to try to see if there's a way to turn that off whoops I just messed up there but that's okay um, through the settings now when I'm done with this I can come down here to the eraser again I can change the size of the eraser if I want to so I make mine pretty big because I don't want to have to keep swishing back and forth and I can just start erasing Notice at the top I do have the name of my website, <clears throat> and I'm asking, please share it if you're enjoying my videos. I really appreciate it a lot. For those of you who have done it, thank you. All right, so let's see. Go back to the brush. Let's imagine, oh, okay, let's imagine that we have two lines like this on our quilt, and we just want to practice the L's, the free motion L's. This is one of the easier ones, I think, to get started with, because we all pretty much learned cursive back in the day and we can pretty much make L's. Okay, let's erase that. Okay, <clears throat> another thing that I really like about this is you can go up here to file. Oh, I'm sorry, not to file, let's see. Let's go to this thing right here. And on here, there's all kind of things that you can do. You can actually draw with friends uh, and different things. This is where I'm recording. but And you can put text in. But what I want to show you that you can do is... Okay, I appear to be in the wrong place again. Sorry. Okay, here it is. I'm going to insert a picture from my camera roll. So I'm going to just insert this. Done. Okay, there it is. Say done. And now I'm going to stretch it out. Because I'm going to pretend that I would like to, instead of having this uh, walking foot quilting that I have had on here before, I am going to um, do some other quilting. So let's pretend I've never done anything on here. And you remember that one I had done recently where I started in the center and I, whoa, look at that. That's my eraser tool. See that? See how it's highlighted and picked? I don't want that. So I can go up to the undo button. I want to go back to my brush. So if I start in the center, I can do this. This, 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 this. Okay, like that. I wonder now if I erase, will it erase? Yes, it does. So let's go back and back. Now what I want to do is I want to um, merge that to the background. I want that to be the background so that I can erase on top of here and it won't erase my background picture. Now I can do the brush and let's do something a little different. How about if I do this? Like this, 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 and this. I like that. I can do the same thing in the triangles. Anyway, there's lots of stuff that you can do. And as I said, there is this um, bubble that's following me around, so it makes it a little bit more difficult 
to see what I'm doing. So if I'm trying to do pebbling, that little bubble kind of confuses me. Okay. Anyway, I think this is really cool. Remember in the last one, we had used the walking foot and I had made the line here so that I, well, I did up here and then that showed me where to pivot to go back down that way with the walking foot. Okay, so anyway, I just think this tool is really cool. It gives you all kinds of time and opportunities to practice your doodling. You're not going to have a slew of papers all laying around the house with doodles on it. But here's the thing. If you find something that you do really like and you want to save it, go to File and you can share it or you can save it. If you save it, it saves to your camera roll or you can save it as something, as a certain type of beat, a file, share as certain type. Um, and I'm just going to save it. And so I can save it to my camera roll. I could save it to Facebook if I wanted to or Instagram or tweet. Um, let's see, can I email it. I wonder if I could text it. I guess I could text it to my friend if I saved it first. But I'm wondering, what I'm really wondering about is what is this draw with friends? That could be interesting. What is your name? Host a, a, lot, host a session. Oh boy, I think I'll just cancel that out because I don't really want to invite anybody right now. Okay. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you uh, give this free app a try and let me know how you like it in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.